Hi guys, I'm Charlie with Charlie Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel. If my voice sounds weird, I'm sorry. I went to a party last night and my voice just completely cracked. Anyway, today I am going to tell you all about my March TBR. My TBRs are going to be, a, well they're not necessarily going to be different, but the books I mentioned on my TBR, I'm probably not going to read them all anymore because I am busy with college. So keep that in mind that I probably won't read all of these books, but I will mostly stick to it. The first of books I want to talk about are books I already started in February. And the first one is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I started this at the beginning of February, but it's a thick classic and classics are books i read very slowly and i've been skipping some days with this one i'm reading this for the ostentatious book club but i've heard we are going to continue reading this into march so i am not worrying about it. I haven't read for a couple of days but i'm very far through it already so i think i only have like 10 chapters left of this so i will finish this in march i hope i am enjoying it i'm just reading it very slowly and if you have never heard the summary of jane eyre because i certainly hadn't before i picked it up i only i've only heard that people liked it jane eyre is about a woman who becomes a nanny for this child <clears throat> and the master of the house who took this child under his wing meets the main character of this novel who is the nanny and they it's basically all about the dynamic but there's also some kind of thriller aspect added to this and it's all very interesting it's like nothing i've ever read before in a classic like it is a very cool to compare this to jane austen's works which i've which I've read all of it by now, and how differently she approached the time period in her work. The second book I started reading in February was Invisible Planets, which is an anthology of short stories from different Chinese authors who write science fiction, and it's all edited and translated by Ken Liu. And I, this is very interesting so far. There are three short stories from every author in this book, and I've read six short stories, so two different authors so far, and I've only like really liked one author, the other one not so much. I do notice the difference in Chinese science fiction from the regular science fiction I have read, but I think there are some very interesting ideas in what I've read so far, specifically from the one author I have read. I can't remember her name right now, I'm so sorry, I'm not really good at remembering Chinese names or pronouncing them in general. Another book I will definitely read in March is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. And this is about a girl and a boy who meet, and I think they have a podcast together, but something happens, and the trust between them is broken. I believe the main character, Frances, the girl, is demisexual, and also a character is bisexual. I know there is a lot of diversity in this, and I really like the idea of a podcast because i don't think i've ever read about podcasts before it comes out on march 28th which is the day after my birthday so i want to read this in march so i can maybe review it if i find it interesting enough if i have enough to say about it but i will definitely tell you my thoughts in my wrap up another book i want to read is a list of cages by robin road this is a recent release about a guy who starts working as the assistant for the school psychologist i believe and then he has to seek out a patient or the school psychologist and it turns out to be his old foster brother and they reconnect also the main character has adhd which is which is why i added it to my tbr because i have adhd and i've never read about a character who has adhd so i'm very excited to find out how this is handled in this book then i'm determined on reading a science fiction book called Summertide, which is the first book in the Heritage Universe series. This book was recommended to me because I asked for recommendations for a space opera I like, A Long Way to a Small and Great Planet by Becky Chambers. And this is recommended to me. It's about several different characters who go somewhere they're not supposed to go. And that's literally all I know about it. The summary is explained very difficult on Goodreads, but it sounds interesting. And if it is anything like A Long Way to a Small and Great Planet, once or twice, then I think I will very much enjoy this installment or this series in general. Then I also want to reread one of my favorite books ever, and that is An Endless Summer, which is the second book in the Summer series by C.J. Duggan. I this is one of my favorite um, favorite series ever. It is an new, it is a new adult series. And I have never reread the series after finishing it. And I really want to. The second book in the series is my favorite book. It has my favorite couple of the series. So I really want to reread this one. And maybe after that, re reread the entire series. I don't know. I just want to start with the second book to see if it is still one of my favorites. If I still really like it. But I certainly hope so. And then for the last part of this video, I'm going to grab my TBR jar 
for my challenge for March. So let's see what kind of challenge I get. The challenge I got was a book set in high school. This is actually a very nice challenge because I have an e-arc of a book I requested randomly. I didn't know anything about this book uh, while, I re while I requested it, but the cover looked very nice and I thought the premise sounded good. So I requested and I got it and it is Textrovert by Lindsay Summers. There's about a girl and a boy who accidentally switch phones and they start messaging each other. But this boy is on football camp, he's out of town. So they can't switch their phones back. And so they get to know each other and the boy doesn't turn out to be the egocentric jock that he always seemed to be. But there is a secret behind this whole connection because there's more than just this phone connection between Keely, who is the girl, and Talon, who is the guy. Uh, while Talon has been keeping a secret from Keely and it's all very vague written in the synopsis, but I mean, there has to be a plump plot point in there somewhere. <laughs> so this is my Mars TBR. Again, I don't, don't know if I'm going to get to all of these books, but I certainly hope so. I am at least very excited to get to, maybe get to all of these. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you think about them. And what are you going to read in March? I would love to know. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.